greetings and once again i want i welcome you to my youtube channel today's video will be busy with data handling box and whisker diagram let's look at this question which is 3.2 it says that rugby is arguably one of the most body type inclusive sports unlike long distance running a bodybuilding whatever shape you are there is a place for you on the rugby field and lecture D show the two box and whisker diagram comparing the weight of the New Zealand and South African rugby team use the box and whisker diagram in an extra D to answer the question that follows let's go to an extra D and see what is it that is given if you look here, we are given two box and whisker diagram. The one at top is the, for a New Zealand, whereby the minimum is around 70 and the maximum is around 140. And then we know the Q1, Q2, and Q3. The one at the bottom is for South Africa. Minimum is around 17, then the maximum is around 120. Minimum and maximum Q1, Q3, and Q3. Q1, Q2, and Q3, I mean. So if we check here, like we explained before, let me just try to re repeat what I explained on the other video to say that this is the shape of a box and whisker diagram. This is the shape of a box and whisker diagram. In this shape, this one represents the minimum we have the first quantile, second quantile, third quantile, and the max. So every time when you hear me talking about the Q1, Q2, Q3, I'm talking about these points here. These points. We call them the five, uh, the five points summary. So let's look at the first question. It says that, which is 3.2.1. The five point summary for New Zealand is as follow so we are given q3 the max q1 the mean and the q3 if the interquartile range is equal to 25 kg determine the value for a which is q1 so now they have given you what the interquartile range so what we need to do is to write the equation of the interquartile range we know that inter Quantile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1. So the interquantile range is given as 25 kg. It's equal to what? Then Q3 is given as 113, 113 kg. Minus Q1. What is the value of Q1? It's not given. That's what we are looking for. Q1 is equal to... Q1 is equal to A. In other words, we must calculate the value of A. So when we are having this, the only thing that you need to do is to take this 113 to the other side. That is the only information or the only thing that we need to do. We are going to remain with um, we are going to remain with 25 kg. The 113, when we take it to the other side, is going to be negative 113 kg. And then we remain with is equal to negative H. And then let's use a calculator here. We just use a calculator, 25 minus 113. 25 minus 113 is negative 88. We remain with negative 88 kg. G is equal to negative A. So if you check, we cannot have a negative weight. So because we are having negative this side and negative this side, we are allowed to cancel them to say that the value of A is equal to 88 kg. The value of A is equal to 88 kg. Moving to the next question, which is 3.2.2. 3.2.2 it says that uh, 
which one of the following terms best describe the data displayed in the box and whisker diagram discrete data or continuous data what you need to know is to be able to differentiate between the two we said discrete data is the data that is collected through counting continuous data is data that is collected through measuring so obviously a weight of a person you must measure a person's weight you cannot count a person's weight so in this case our answer is going to be continuous this is a continuous data this is a continuous data uh, reason data is obtained through measurement measurement data collected through measurement data is collected through measurement that's the reason why this is continuous the reason for this to be continuous is because data is collected through measurement you should not forget that discrete is data that is collected through what through counting so in this case this one is collected through a measurement moving to the next question which is 3.2.3 it says that uh, the box and whisker diagram compare the weight between the new zealand and south africa rugby players what term is used to define the value that is very far apart from other values we call this one the outliner this one is the outliner that is the answer for the last question outliner just see out liner outlier i mean ish, my mistake english it's outlier not outliner i can see when i'm writing no this is wrong outlier so the data that is very much far apart from other uh, values we call it the outlier so thank you very much for watching this video once again uh, you should not forget to subscribe to share this video